Wow, so let's get right into our video. So as you all know, Excel has integrated Python. This is wonderful. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually add Python to Excel and then a little introduction. So first you have to make sure that you are on the Microsoft 365 Insider. So you have to go to your account and then check on the Insider. See if you're on the Microsoft 365 Insider program. And then once you join that, you have to go to the Microsoft website. I can send the link. And then once you join that, you have to make sure that you are on the beta channel. So I think originally it's de defaulted to the preview or the current channel, but you have to switch it to the beta channel. Click I agree to the terms and conditions and then click OK. And so now we can start. Now, when I did this, it took about a week for me to actually see Python. But you go under formulas and you will see the insert python icon and then when you click on that now we see the pi and so this will allow us to add all of our functions into this cell and so how to initiate uh, python is you do equals py and then tab or you can do enter i believe you can do enter as well i'm still learning this but you do equal py and then tab and then when you want to run your script, you do control enter. So I'm just showing you guys how to do that. And I believe I just wrote a note to myself. I'm just saying, so you would enter into your cell and you would type enter equals PY and then you would press tab. And so then you will see the Python light up here. So it'll be the green, um, the green cell here for you to import your libraries and, or you can run your scripts. So right now I am doing import pandas as PD. So I'm just going to import my libraries. I'm going to import NumPy as NP. I'm going to import Seaborn as SNS. So we are going to look at a data frame as well as uh, complete a visualization. And I'm just putting a text here that says your packages are now loaded. And so this will allow us to see, you know, once the packages are loaded, we'll be able to see that text. So it won't just say busy, right? So we hit control enter to actually run the script. So that's what I'm, I wrote that here as a note. And so you see it says busy. And now when it's done, we have text there. Now, if I didn't put that text there, you would just see the little stacked data frame. You would see the little stacked data frame icon. And so now, the pack, these packages, it says that these packages are actually loaded. And I was just testing this out a little bit. So we've got our data frame right here. We've got a sample and I'm typing in equals PY and I am calling the data frame DF and I am saying, okay, all of this data is held in this variable DF. And so we see it's signified by that data frame, the icon here, and it says data frame. So that data frame holds all of our data and it automatically sets the headers to true. It recognizes that there are headers in that data frame. So that was cool. And so now I'm just trying some functions on this data frame. So I can now do DF since we've named our data frame, that our data frame is held within the DF variable. is the info df info this is the same scripts that you can run in your python so when you type uh, when you type info we see the data types we see the column headers like the names of the columns we see if it's nulls if these columns contain nulls so this is pretty cool uh, right here it's showing you the range it's telling you how many columns there are 17 columns so it's just giving us some info about our data set so when we hit we type df.info and then we we, uh, we we did control enter and now we're doing describe but it's giving us an error so this is awesome too like it shows you what the error what what's wrong it's saying it's unexpected eof so that means it's missing a closing parentheses so now i just close the parentheses and now let's run that so i'm saying df describe this will give us a statistical summary on our data frame so i just ran that and i'm wondering okay where is it at that's what i was wondering where's the information at so i'm clicking on the little stacked uh, like the data frame icon i didn't see it then i click over to the let me see i think i'm running this again because i'm trying to figure out where is door so i you see the little icon i clicked on that and then 
this image pops up. This image pops up and it gives me a summary statistics. It's saying it's an eight by eight data frame. It's giving me the count, mean, standard deviation, all of these statistical metrics on any numeric, any data, any columns that have numeric, numerical data. And so I'm just scrolling through these and you can see this is really nifty. Um, I really like this, it's really concise. And so we have our summary just like that on our data frame. And so now I wanna take you to Seaborn. Seaborn is another uh, beautiful library that Python has, that, pen, uh, that Python has. And so we are going to create a visualization. I'm gonna show you how, how easy it is. Now, this is my first time working, um, probably like the last couple of days, right? Working with um, Python within Excel. So I'm still learning this as well, um, but I have sort of played around with it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a bar chart with our data. We'll probably do this one right here. Yes, we'll do this one right here. So I'm going to copy this code and then I'm going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet and I am going to type equals PY tab. And now we see our cell and we can just enter that code. Let's go ahead and drop down and expand this. So we've expanded this and now let's customize it and adjust it to our data. So I'm deleting the import Seaborn as CNS. We've already done that. I'm keeping the theme. I'm deleting those comments. And where it says data, this is where our data, it's, it needs you to point to the data. So we know the data is held in our data frame DF. I'm saying the kind is a bar chart. We're saying the data, let's see, what did I say? Okay, so, the, so this, we're saying X is city. Okay, so I did something here, let's see. Let's see here, so what was I doing? So I was also troubleshooting this, so you guys get to see like real life troubleshooting here. Um, okay, so now I'm, looks like I'm deleting this information. So I'm just customizing this here to fit my data. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking on that data frame. See that there? So it's saying XLA2. So it's pointing to the cell in which our data frame lives. And then I'm typing in, it's, it wants to know what, what is on the X axis. Well, it's the column city. What is on the Y axis, it's the column total and our hue we're going to put in gender. So I'm just typing this in here. And I believe I'm keeping everything else. I probably want to change that body mass. I think I do that later, but that's, that is on the, um, the axis labels. So you see, we clicked control, um, enter, and now we've got our chart just like that. So it has our data in here, but you see the title is the axis is off. So it's giving us our cities, but the access shouldn't be body mass. So I'm going to go in here and change this. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you've learned anything new, please do not hesitate to subscribe, like, and comment. This was a really fun video. Um, and I can't wait to teach you guys some more sort of intros into working with Excel, uh, working with Python and Excel. So what I'm doing here, you just see I'm adjusting where I'm just adjusting the axis, right? Because it shows body mass. I'm putting total cells and then it's, I, I ran the script and then I click on the image and we've got our beautiful uh, bar chart here. So this is awesome. See you guys in the next video.